Hello, this is Dr. Carlo Oger, emergency physician and founder of edxitvideo.com. This video is about pernicious anemia. Pernicious anemia is a decrease in the red blood cells that occurs when the body cannot properly absorb vitamin 12, B12 to be exact. This happens from the gastrointestinal tract. Vitamin B12 is necessary for the proper development of red blood cells. Pernicious anemia is a type of megaloblastic anemia. That means the cells turn very large. The cause of pernicious anemia. The body needs vitamin B12 to make the red blood cells. To provide vitamin B12 to your blood cells, you need to eat enough foods containing vitamin B12, such as meat, poultry, shellfish, eggs, and dairy products. To absorb vitamin B12, your body uses a special protein called intrinsic factor, which is released by the cells in the stomach. The combination of vitamin B12 bound to this intrinsic factor is absorbed in the last part of the small intestine. When the stomach does not make enough intrinsic factor, the intestine cannot properly absorb vitamin B12. Very rarely, infants and children are born without the ability to produce enough intrinsic factor or the ability to absorb the combination of intrinsic factor and vitamin B12 in the small intestine. Pernicious anemia that occurs at birth or congenital is inherited. You need the defective gene from each parent to get it. That means it's a recessive disorder. Common causes of pernicious anemia include a weakened stomach lining, like from atrophic gastritis, the body's immune system attacking the cells that make the intrinsic factor. This is an autoimmunity against the gastric parietal cells or the intrinsic factor itself. The disease begins slowly and may take decades to fully establish. Although the congenital form occurs in children, pernicious anemia usually does not appear before age 30 in adults. The average age at diagnosis is 60. Risk factors include family history, history of autoimmune endocrine disorders, Scandinavian or Northern European descent. Some autoimmune disorders that are risk factors for Graves' disease, myasthenia gravis, type 1 diabetes, testicular dysfunction, even vitiligo. Symptoms of pernicious anemia include diarrhea or constipation, fatigue, loss of appetite, pale skin, problems concentrating, shortness of breath, swollen red tongue or bleeding gums, nerve damage caused by vitamin B12 deficient that has been present for a longer time may cause confusion and change in mental status, even dementia, depression, loss of balance, numbness and tingling of the hands or feet. One of the tests to be done is a bone marrow examination. This is only need to be done if the diagnosis is unclear. Other tests include complete blood counts, measurement of serum, holotranscobalamin, reticulocyte count, Schilling test, serum LDH, and serum vitamin B12. Monthly vitamin B12 injections are prescribed to correct the vitamin B12 deficiency. This therapy treats the anemia that may correct the neurological complications if taken early enough. In people with a severe deficiency, the injections are given more often at first. Some doctors recommend that early patients with gastric atrophy take vitamin B12 supplements by mouth in addition to the monthly injections. There is also a preparation of vitamin B12 that may be given through the nose. For some people, taking vitamin B12 tablets by mouth can be an effective treatment. A well-balanced diet is essential to provide other elements for healthy blood development such as folic acid, iron, and vitamin C. The outcome is usually excellent with treatment. Any damage to nerves may be permanent, especially if treatment is not started within the sixth month of symptom onset. Complications B12 
People with pernicious anemia may have gastric polyps, and they are at increased risk of gastric cancer and gastric carcinoid tumors. Brain and nervous system problems may continue if treatment is delayed. There is no known way to prevent this condition. However, with early detection and treatment of vitamin B12 deficiency, complications can be minimized. If you've already been diagnosed with this condition, then follow-up in a regular manner is paramount, both to monitor your hemoglobin and to give your scheduled vitamin B12 deficient shots. If you have increasing symptoms of anemia, shortness of breath, chest pain, like headiness passing out, or there's any new symptoms, For more videos like this video, please go to edxitvideo.com. And remember, these are educational videos and should never replace the attention or care of a medical professional. Please take a moment to like my video and to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.